Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Hope you're all doing well and you've all had an amazing Easter. Today we are deep cleaning, spring cleaning and sanitizing my bathroom. As you can tell, it has gone very messy, very grimy. And in general, it's just been a bit neglected. I am recovering from influenza. That's why I might sound a little bit breathless to you. I'm starting with the things that need to sit for a bit. Harris had to put his breakfast in here. That's not sick. I'm really sorry. I had to clean the tub before I can actually get inside to clean the rest of the bathroom. I wasn't going to get in and step in that filthy, dusty breakfast pat in their tub i removed the rain shower head because it was really dusty and then i sprayed the whole or the rest of the shower with fire cow and wrapping it up with some cling film because that completely removes all the lime scale with very minimum um scrubbing it just melts it all off if you actually touch it while it's still wrapped up you can feel it heating up and i'm doing the same for the other shower head because i can't um unscrew it i can't take it out then i sprayed everything with the pink stuff miracle bathroom and i'm using my scrubber to give all the tiles the grout everything a really good scrub down we don't really shower in here we shower in our other bathroom with the shower enclosure so our tiles and the grout are never really too bad in here they don't really get moldy with a lot of mold and mildew this grout is actually really horrible to clean because it changes color when it's wet it goes dark brown as you can tell um from the bits where it's been wet and it but you still need a good um scrub because the kids have buffs in here regularly and we get a lot of buff bombs and buff um, foam and other things like that that leave a lot of um, sticky residue and for my shower screen i just used the dish matic with some um, fairy liquid and white vinegar and then i use my window vac which works amazing and on the outside i just use a glass spray and a window cloth and this window here was really badly neglected as you can tell because of the way it is positioned i have to always get in the tab to actually clean it and that's not my favorite part i just try and does the blinds a little bit but as you can tell even the blinds here were so bad i had to actually take them down and give them a good wash this is the only window that had to have the blinds taken down all the other blinds i keep on top of and they just need a good wipe down but this one yeah i've taken them down to give everything a really good wipe down and i wash them i'm also washing this little um decorative succulent and i'm using my mop just to um, wipe everything down and make sure that there is no um, soapy residue and i've cleaned the ceiling as well now i'm cleaning my light fixtures i always go from top to bottom and work one area at a time I'm just wiping down the mirrors and then i'm gonna move on to the sinks and the tabs for the mirrors here i'm just using a window spray and a window cloth and i'm also cleaning the light in here as well and polishing the socket and the towel rail here i'm wiping the walls and i'm just using the big and strong antibacterial wipes for that and normally i would declutter before cleaning but because the bathroom was so grimy i just wasn't willing to sit down on the dirty floor to try and sort everything out so for the moment i'm just moving out of the way in order to clean my area i also have taken the toothbrushes away because i'm going to sanitize them i do that by putting in a cup a little bit of hot boiling water with a small spoon of soda bicarbonate and i swish one toothbrush at a time put it on a kitchen towel to dry change the water and repeat the process with all of them i'm also using um the domestos power foam to clean all of the kids toys and i remove those metal bits because i realized that they just hold a lot of dirt in there there is no real purpose for them so i decided to just bin them and i'm repeating the same process of spraying via cow and wrapping everything in cling film i'll let it sit for about 15 minutes i'm doing both tubs at the same time this one was so disgusting it was mainly from um the kids buff slime whatever it is that they're using they were playing in here which i didn't mind at the time because they had fever and i thought 
or a little bit of cool water on their hands is probably good not realizing how messy that would make the bathroom sinks and i do want to stress that this is an extra deep clean one because i'm spring cleaning the whole house i only do this maybe two three times a year this is not how i clean my bathrooms every week i will show you that in a future videos i just wanted to get everywhere everything out make it almost as brand new um erase every sign of life in here and also because we were all ill with influenza and i just wanted to make sure that there is no remaining germs and bacteria left that could reinfect any of us so i have been deep cleaning the whole house and now i decided to go in with that brush and oh wow that was absolutely disgusting what was coming out of the drains i did not expect it maybe i need to start going into the drains more often i didn't know how filthy they are look until it comes to the second sink but i had a few spots of um lime scale that wasn't coming out so i just use my little scraper to um get everything off of that and yeah just look at the state of this it's so bad i did record rinsing your lot of but i don't know what happened to the footage i did rinse it so we're back as you can tell all the lime scale was pretty much completely gone i hardly needed any scraping it that via cow with um cling film works miracles now i'm washing the shower head this one was pretty good as i said we hardly have a shower in here and i'm also wiping the walls in here there was something stuck and i was trying to get it off and actually flicked some of the paint off so nick had to replace that well repaint it just touch it up a little bit i'm also cleaning my soap dispenser and refilling it and i'll do the same with the soap dish my youngest son he's four he prefers using a bar of soap rather than liquid soap but this dish gets really filthy so i had to give it a really good scrub as you can tell it had a lot of almost like moldy looking spots and now they're all gone and i'm going in with um a drain muscle, muscle drain cleaner and deodorizer i use this one regularly but judging by the state of the trains i'm not sure how effective it actually is and i wiped down my flower i had to change because i had a doctor's appointment so i just wanted to finish off a few quick tasks before leaving everything else for tomorrow the kids were already home so i had to um, spend some time with them i'm also adding some disinfectant into the brush holder and the bin and i am using this little disposable um toilet cleaner thing that's absolutely amazing because it's so small it gets in all the places and removes all the lime scale our toilet never gets too bad i'm eternally grateful to my mother-in-law for house training my husband he cleans the toilets daily and even though i live with three boys they all know how to sit down when they when they go to the toilet so i never really get any messy spills dirty nasty stuff on the floor and the sit doesn't go up so i consider myself very blessed in that aspect if any mamas out there struggling um with messes on the floor and people missing out the toilet bowl teach your family how to sit down it's truly life-changing i'm adding um some of that duck gel thing and one of the blue i believe was that fizzy tablets and also in the cistern i had um one of those color changing i'm not sure if they actually do anything but we'll like adding those tablets into the water my mat gets really filthy here and i know that just washing in the washing machine doesn't get rid of all the toothpaste so i had to um spray it first with the stain remover and i wash my towels with just laundry sanitizer white vinegar and i add soda bicarbonate in the drum with a bit of stain remover i use the allergy smart setting on my washing machine which is basically 60 degrees on an 800 spin cycle 
and they come out really nice and fluffy and white and we are on to the next day i had to mop the floor before i could sit down and start cleaning decluttering and organizing everything i'm cleaning inside the drawers um i'm wiping down all the pipes and all those things and i'm gonna go through all the items take away things that have expired or we don't need anymore if you have noticed a patch on my back i'm really sorry i didn't know that that will be visible on the video and you will see that in the rest of the footage i am wearing a hoodie just to hide it i do have a wound on my back that's why that was there but um yeah again i apologize for that and how i declutter my bathroom is as usual i just take everything out pile it on the floor and clean my storage and then start getting things out of the pile and deciding on what i need to keep who needs to go i am not very cutthroat when it comes to discarding so i have made a promise to myself to take as much things as possible now mainly things that expired or finished and then in a few months to repeat and anything that hasn't been used or that has expired at that time just to keep discarding and not buy anything until we have really minimized our um items that we've got in the house because our house is overflowing it needs a really good declutter that i just i just struggle with i'm not good at disposing of stuff but i am trying my best it is a learning curve for me and i am sharing my journey with you i know that i'm not alone when it comes to it and a lot of people struggle with throwing things away we have that weird outdated mentality of keeping things just in case or that they might come useful or that they're still in a perfectly good condition whatever you might be telling yourself something that i'm working on i will actually be sharing advice from a few books in the future they help with the decluttering i'm also starting a 30-day decluttering challenge from a book called clean and declutter your home in 30 days or something like that i will be sharing um daily videos with you from that book while i'm going through the challenge you can join me along but that will happen once i've spring cleaned my whole house and i do try and get my rooms all in a perfect well semi-perfect state where i can actually declutter because when they're really messy that whole experiment is just not gonna work for me because i'm gonna be spending my days trying to tackle the daily mess first before i can actually get into the declutter so i'm going one room at a time trying to get them in a decent enough order where i could do daily maintenance that book starts with a maintenance a daily clean and then a daily declutter section and it promises that you should be able to get it done all in a 15 20 minutes interval so i will let you know how that goes in the future but now i'm just finishing the rest of the bathroom i'm also cleaning the door that had a lot of makeup on there because my kids have been dressing up as oompa loompas recently and i do the outside the inside um the handle the frame everything I have cleaned all of this last night so now I'm just adding a new bag to the bin and I filled the bottom of my toilet brush holder with some toilet cleaner just to keep it fresh disinfected and whenever we use it it's just nice and already soapy and I'm giving the bathtub a final scrub because I've washed so many things in there and I'm spraying everything with a disinfectant again I don't do this all the time but I'm doing it now because I really wanted to sanitize everything and now i'm just giving the bathroom a good vacuum and a steam mop to make sure that the floors are nice and sanitized as well and i want to know that this is a germ free zone and again the grout on the floor changes color so if it looks extra dark now that's not because it's dirty it's because it's wet 
um, and once it dries it will go back to white but this is my finished bathroom now and it feels so much nicer and fresher thank you so much for watching i really really appreciate you please don't forget to like the video comment subscribe i want to build a nice safe community in here for us to share our experiences join me on my cleaning and decluttering challenges and trying to find a good life work balance and uncover the secrets of the happy and content families and just find a way to be happier at home and satisfied with our daily lives and i will see you very shortly in my next video please don't forget to subscribe thank you thank you so much for watching if you watched until the end you're an absolute trooper and your support means everything to me and yeah this is my bathroom now as you can tell i have a lot of free space now and everything it's in its own spot i have categorized everything so i know where to find it and this was really overdue but it makes me feel so much better now that i finally done it bibiana and nick have their own section so no one needs to ask me where their things are and i keep a bathroom cleaner and a toilet cleaner behind the toilet seat tucked away thank you so much for watching bye